Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Lineage Red Knights video. Basically, I want to make a new video series, basically talking... Did I just use basically twice in a row? Okay, uh, anyways, I want to make a series, basically talking through all the systems in the game, because the Lineage Red Knights has a lot of systems. There's, there's the separation between the heroes and your pets. Um, there's different ways to level the hero and the pets, like how to make the hero stronger versus the pets. There's also like crafting, there's, there's like a gear system for your heroes, but there's also um, a very complicated system for your pets, like the transmute system and the destiny system. So I'm basically going to cover everything that Lineage Red Knights has to offer in like this short video series. I, I think it's going to be pretty short, I'm not exactly sure how long. But in this first video, I'm going to be go going over um, everything that has to do with a pet. Because I think the pet is probably the main part of the game. The hero is kind of something on the side. Um, I don't know, it's just my opinion. I think the majority of the efforts spent in this game is to power up your pets. So, and this is a unit collecting game, like a like a monster collect collection game. Um, so I think the pets are definitely the the number one um, priority for, for 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 the game. So I'm going to be going over everything that that the game has to offer about pets. Um, so first things first, there's the skill system. This is very very straightforward. Um, all pets have three skills, and two, two one active skill and two passive skills. They can also do their you know normal auto attacks, but I, I wouldn't say that's that's exactly a skill. Um, most of these skills have like a, either a chance to activate or they're on a they're they're on a you know they're, they're like a full passive skill. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take example this level 30 elder that I have. Wait, oh wait, he's it doesn't matter what level he is. Um, but he is he is um the purple quality. I think I, I don't even know what quality to call this. This is the purple quality. All right, monsters have like different um, qualities. I'm gonna be going through that later. But basically, when you get a monster, you only have um, when you get a pet. I mean, um, you, they only come with the first skill. They they only come with a one active one active skill, and the other two skills are locked. In order to obtain the other two um, skills, you need to transmute them. So, transmuting is basically using these materials, um, random materials that you get from from various maps that you have to actually actively go out and collect. You can make your pets stronger, so um, they start out as, as like white quality, and then they go to green, and then they go to blue, and then they go to purple, and then eventually they go to red. And I think there's one quality um, above red as well, which is like the... I think it's like orange or something, because I... This is just theory, because nobody has ever <laughs> ever gotten an orange one yet. Um, but this is just a theory, because I've I've noticed that the items also have a quality. Oh, gold, I mean. Yeah, gold. Like, there's a there's a quality... Because um, this is a transmuting... This is a transmuting item, and it's it's gold. So, like, which leads me to believe that... like Because this is for transmuting to red. Uh, which leads me to believe that there's probably another rank above red, as which is like gold. Um, and th this is probably the last rank, because we're running out of maps, unless they introduce more ranks in the future. Um, so basically, pets get stronger and stronger as you transmute them. But I'm mainly talking about transmuting now, because when you transmute a monster from to, I think, to blue, it was, yeah, when you transmute a monster to blue, you unlock their second skill. And when you get them to purple, you unlock their third skill. So skills have different types. Um, some some of the some of the skills actually, you know, when they act, actually say passive skills, um, it actually is is an active skill, kind of like with a cooldown. Because this this skill, for example, seal the win on the elder. Um, he basically he targets one enemy and then he does some damage, um, 314 percent of his magic damage. Basically, he does like a single target attack. Um, and it has a 10 second cooldown. So every 10 seconds he's going to basically just use this skill. So in that regard, I think it's very very similar to an active skill. Although it's not like you don't have to charge up your skill gauge to use it. He's still going to be using this every single 10 seconds. Um, this is another passive skill that basically is a real passive skill. So all this does is increase his magical damage by 14.32%. So this is like a real passive skill that just basically increases his his um his magic attack stat, and that's 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 pretty it. It's pretty boring. 
So the second thing that um, a monster can do is level up. Like level up is really really simple. Um, leveling up is just you you can either get exp by playing through the levels and you can also get exp by using the exp potions um, i think in my opinion exp potions are used for basically catching up on levels on, on certain monsters maybe like you decide to raise a new monster to replace an old one um, it's a pretty good idea to use your exp potions then because the level of your monster cannot exceed your hero level so my not hero level, um, not hero, uh, my player level. So there's like three levels. There's the player level, the hero level, level of your heroes, and level of your monsters. Um, your monster level can never exceed your player level. So my player level is at level 30, meaning that once his EXP bar, um, right, since right now he's at level 30, once this EXP bar gets to full, it's gonna be stuck at, you know, basically 99.99%. And it will never be able to um, be able to level up. I'm not sure if it gets stuck at 100% or 99.9. .9. I haven't checked, but basically he won't be able to get to level 31. He's going to be stuck at level 30 until I get my player level to level 31, which um, will take a f probably like I probably will be able to do that tomorrow after a few refreshes and daily quests and all that. Um, but yeah, it, it does actually take a while for for you to level up your player level. Um, it's pretty easy to get your monster level up to your player level in my opinion so like if you can you can always use the exp potions to keep up so that's that's something you can do as well on the side so that's 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 pretty straightforward um, transmuting I explained a little bit about this before transmuting is basically I think I don't think he's probably the best monster so, something like this usually the materials are, are like this um, materials that you can only get off easy maps they Transmuting basically it goes from like gray and then it goes like gray plus one or white or gray um, and then it goes like plus one and then it goes to green and then after green it goes to green plus one and then it goes to blue and then it goes to blue plus one and then um, it goes to purple and then purple actually has three ranks I think I, th I think no blue has plus two blue has plus two then purple and then um, purple has three ranks purple has plus one plus two and plus three which leads me to believe that um, the red quality probably has plus four before the before the gold quality, you know. And the gold quality in my probably is the last last possible quality because there's only two maps left for for farming the transmute materials in the game um, that I have not unlocked yet that nobody has unlocked yet because the highest level I've seen is is still level 30. I think there's probably some 31s in in some of the top guilds, but I don't think anyone's higher level than that. So. Probably no one has seen the the last two maps yet. Um, so transmuting basically you use these materials, and these materials are all farmable off easy mode, except for when you're actually transmuting a monster from from green to blue. Th they require these potions, and these potions are only droppable off normal mode. So you need to farm normal mode for these these potions um, in order to increase their their actual rarity. Like you know, from plus whatever to the actual other next color, um, you need you need the potions that drop off off of normal maps. But for for getting them to like plus one and plus two, you can just use materials that you've gotten from from easy mode, um, which is infinitely farmable. So you can definitely do this as much as you want until you you have everything you need. Um, yeah, things things get really really hard. Like it, the materials get more and more as as the game progresses. So you definitely wanna, definitely wanna just not, um, you know, not waste your resources off on farming maps that you don't need. So you definitely like when you're farming for EXP, you wanna farm on maps that have the actual transmuting material for your monsters. Also, something I noticed is that you know when you when you see these, um, you know, story mode easy five three or six three, like if you go to farm at the higher stages like six three. The drop rates are definitely a lot better than 5.3, so definitely go farm as far as possible. Don't don't um, limit yourself to the earlier stages, because the game is designed in a way where um, when you get to the next map, whatever whatever stuff was like rare before becomes all of a sudden becomes not rare and easy to get. So you wanna you wanna um, abuse that, or would I would I be abusing, or work around that as much as possible, and try to farm the higher level maps for whatever material that you need. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. Um, transmuting also increases your you know your stats and stuff, but it's pretty obvious. It says right here. 
The next thing is evolution. This is probably the hardest way to raise a monster. There's no way to evolve a monster unless you get their soul gems, uh, soul stones. And soul stones are only from either f some monsters are farmable, you can farm their soul stones. Um, others, you basically have to, you have to like, you know, summon and get repeats in order to make them the next rank. Um, their stats do increase quite a lot, so I think, like, I think if you talk, if you think about this percentage-wise, actually the the stats do make quite a lot of difference. So you definitely want to want to raise them as much as possible, and you definitely want to raise monsters that you have access to. Um, so if you're, you're like free to play, maybe use monsters that are easier to obtain. Oh, that's just my opinion right now from so far that I've been playing. Um, rather than monsters that you summon and somehow got lucky and you know like if you if you choose between two two star monsters probably choose be choose the one that might be farmable instead of the you know non farmable um you know like the the some some monsters are are farmable but that depends on your team as well so don't 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 take my like word 100% for it just what was the expression take take my Take it with a grain of salt, basically. That's 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 what I mean to say. Um, there's also the blessed stone, and the blessed stones are kind of like a bonus to your your soul stone increase, and you can only bless them based on like how how many stars you have. So since I have my elder at three stars, I can only do the blessing three times. I think um, if by this logic, I think if I can get him to six stars, then I I should be able to bless times. Um, Blessed stones are are actually are also you also get them from summoning. Also, you c you can get them from farming and stuff. So, yeah, blessed stones are I think a lot harder to get. I think like because blessed stones a lot of them aren't farmable, so you can only get them from summoning. Um, but you you don't need as much in order to to bless them. The stats increase is not is not as significant as when you when you um, raise them to the next star rank, either. So. This is just a bonus, but if you have if you have blessed stones to use for a certain unit, definitely use it. I think that's pretty straightforward. Um, the last thing is just uh, when you raise them to four stars or whatever, they they unlock certain appearances for for that monster. Which wait, I think I might have a costume for him. Oh, this is his, this is already his costume. Damn, this one looks sick. Holy shit, this fire one looks so sick. Reach six stars to unlock. Alright, uh, this is gonna probably take a while. Anyways, that's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one more system that I didn't talk about. And that is the Destiny system. This is probably the most interesting one out of all, everything. The Destiny system is a system where... Um, you either have to complete a certain objective, like a special objective, or you have to raise certain other monsters to make one of your monsters stronger. So this is like, it's always in four parts. There's Destiny, um, Friends, Rivals, and then Trials, and then the last one. Um, when you eventually, you know, awaken. I, I have no idea what the hell awakening even means right now. But, wait, I think I can complete this. Oh, I got, I got, I forgot to click it. I didn't know there was a De Destiny quest available for him right here. But basically, um, what this means is, if you have if you have other other monsters like these, um, the ones that ne are needed to increase their their destiny, or to complete the destiny destiny, um, I don't even know what they're called, like destiny quests or something like that, then you can you can get extra extra bonuses to your monster. So this increases his magical defense by 15% because I have these two monsters. So for friends, you just need to have these monsters. Um, for rivals, you need to you need to basically like level them at, at the same time. So like if you have both these monsters and you have their their rival um, at also level 56, then they both get 10% HP. If you bo evolve both of them to six stars, they both get extra 10% magic damage. Um, the trials is also something you can do. Like basically, I, I forgot to click this. Um, basically, if you complete a certain objective, like a special objective, like clear, clear false king's tomb, pillage people five times, um, do guild wars ten times, then you will be able to unlock these trials and and get bonus stats. 
So yeah, I think that's pretty pretty straightforward. That's that's pretty much it. I think the last one, like Awakening, is when you've completed all your trials, which I think is definitely going to be very very hard to do. Um, but at some point, eventually, we're going to be able to do it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's everything that that is that mon or that um, lineage has to offer for for pets. That's that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's that's the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.